They've been using me from the start. What are you talking about? That man barely gave me any money. I did that to make him look good. I'm the one with the money. I'm the one with the money. Who's paying for this dress? What do you mean, Christopher? How does that work? His lawsuit money. So basically, when I need money or anything, Christopher lets the lawyer know, and then they call me. They say, yeah, I have the money ready. I just wrote out a check. Then I just go and pick it up, or they mail it. They lie about everything. I don't like liars. That's another thing. I don't like liars. I tell the truth. I always tell the truth. Everybody knows this about me. I do not lie. I keep it a buck. And when you a liar, it shows a lot about you. And I don't respect you. Chris has given me about maybe $60,000. I spent the $60,000 on furniture, car insurance, rent, credit card debt, going to the supermarket, a BMW car. I spent it on things that we need to pay for in order to live, basically. Stupid. I did not say that. That was edited. Do you know about TV? If you really listen to it, you can hear it. It sounds a little funny. That was not me. Get it together. And he did not buy the car. He only gave me $3,000 for the car. I paid $500 each fucking month for that car. He does not... That's not his car. And just for that, they try to vandalize my car. I got a new car now, as you can see. And I will never tell y'all what it is. I left that car and got a different car. Because I'm really like that. He don't do nothing for me. Every single time, everybody know. Man, I could have my fucking friend Sadie come on this shit right now. I'd be like, Sadie, what was he calling for every single fucking day? Money. I was sending him $200 almost every day. I thought it was for something else. You know what it was for? It was for fucking drugs. Money talks. How much is it? How much is it? Fifteen thousand. This could Short. be like a sec, like the party dress. When me and Christopher spoke about wedding dresses and everything, he never even spoke to me about a budget. If the dress is twenty five thousand, thirty thousand, I don't give a. F I'm still buying the dress and I'm gonna look great in it. You have to get this one. <laughs> I'm serious. How much is it? This one's thirty thousand. How much money do you think you guys have? You know, weddings are expensive. This dress is expensive. Chris has given me about $60,000 from the settlement of $150,000. And, you know, I spent the money. I'm going to get this one, and then I'm going to get the other dress as a reception dress. How much do I need for right now as a down payment? So it would be about uh, 45. 45. Um, you could just put 20 down now i'm not really worried about anything to be honest i know chris has some money left the secret stash me and chris are set no one has to worry about that his sister his sister oh all right i ain't even gonna lie to you his sister didn't even get no money i think she got only like 1k all that money went to his mother and the brother and everything else like they need to stop lying on tv i swear to god and i don't give a fuck if i'm under contract Keep right no he brought you that fancy car and the ring and he loves you but you only get one mommy and you only get one wife because i'm not replaceable yeah okay we don't see about that can you believe this bitch he's getting out in three weeks whatever you want pick it out we're getting it hi this is gabrielle i'm calling on behalf of christopher Hello there, how are you Hi, how are you? I just wanted to let you know that I'm actually um, wedding dress shopping and I just need about like 30000 today in check. If I could come and pick it up. At that time, I was unemployed. At that time, I was unemployed. What about? That man broke still. I mean, look how they looked on TV. Look how they looked on TV. My family didn't even look at that on TV. You see my mother's house? What are you talking about? Like, what? Did you hear what his sister said? Oh, he just gonna use her? In half yes. a mile. Use, use me the right for my money. Right. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? And now, since you're not going dress shopping, I have nothing to say to you. Okay? All right. Yeah, don't call my phone either. Uh, I won't. Yeah, kiss my ass. Who's paying your bill? So, like, look at me. Look at me. And I look like a bum today. Like, what are you talking about? Ah! I gotta go to my appointment. Okay? So. I don't know, like, I don't know. Chris's mom doesn't really approve of me dating Chris. His family doesn't like me. They think I'm a gold digger. Um, I don't know, I guess they're upset that he sent me money. I guess they wanted it for themselves. But it's really us. It's our business. It's no one else's. Like, they are broke. Like, I am my dumbass because I love him. I'm over here doing that. Like, why was I doing that? But then the mother on the fucking, on the TV show trying to talk shit about me. 
Like, why are you trying to talk shit about me? They had money for him and they spent it. They fucking spent it. That way, they spent it. Like, what are you talking about? They spent all that shit and I told Chris, I said, yo, don't send your brother that money for that chain. I said, keep that shit in the fucking bank with your lawyer until you get out and you buy that chain. You buy it. I'm going to take you to the jewelry store so you can get your chain. You know what the brother did? Chris went behind my back, sent his brother that money, and you know what the brother did? Took that shit, rented a car, drove all his homies to fucking Las Vegas, Cali, all that shit. They did a road trip and spent all that man's money, 25K. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And am I flying? I'm right here. I was way too pretty for him. Like, I gave him a chance. See, that's the problem with y'all bitches. Y'all bitches worry about the wrong things. Me, I don't go for looks. I go for how you treat me. If you treat me good, I'm going to treat you good. I'm going to treat you even better. But the problem is, is that he took that, he ran with it, and he fucked up. So now I'm going to fuck up. Keep left to County Road 535 toward New Jersey Turnpike. And I'll be playing then that Then use shit. the left lane to keep... fucked up so when you fuck up guess what happens i fuck up and that's why i told him to get the fuck out my house and he gotta move out and you know what happened he beat me up because i told him he needs to move mama is lying obviously he she they're all lying just like how she said that i hit myself on the door and that he never touched me but the video is out so what are you talking about who's really telling the truth you're gonna you're gonna believe somebody who lives in the projects in filth or are you gonna believe me they are filthy and they are broke and they are weird and they don't have no money still till this day if it wasn't for me. Chris would have been in a very good place. That's why he was thirsty to come to Jersey. He would have had a great apartment, a great house. Look, I'm about to buy a, buy a house this year. We would have been set. Kids, everything. He is broke. He's weird. Let me drink my McDonald's oranges. I'm thirsty. He looks crazy now, like everything. He's being he was charged with robbing me when he left. He was charged with beating me, breaking my bones, breaking my teeth, everything. Okay? I'm lucky he didn't have a fucking gun. He would have shot me. He would have killed me. He was trying to kill me. He tried ripping out my eye and everything. I had to get two surgeries in my mouth. My eyes, I was supposed to get one surgery if it didn't get better. But I did treatments for it. I didn't get a lazy eye. So so I was tired of everything. I told him he had to go. I don't need that shit in my house. I don't do that. So you gotta go. And when I tell him he had to go, look what he did. He fucking beat me up talking about bitch, this is my house. And that's why he's in jail. He's going to jail. He found he was found guilty. He's going to jail. So on the on the video when he was beating me up, he was on drugs. Like, and I didn't even know. The TV people want to tell me after, oh yeah, he was falling asleep on the thing. As you can see in the interview, he's like this. He was on drugs. I didn't even know until later, bro. I didn't even know until later. He was really a drug addict, bro. I didn't even know. Like, that shit is really fucking sad. It's really sad. I did not know he was on drugs, bro. And that shit breaks my heart, bro. I even told him at one point, I'm like, yo, you got to chill. You got to stop. I gave him another chance. I let him back in the house. He was still on them drugs. Still on them drugs.